Many games use hit flashes to give feedback when something gets hit. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a hit flash animation in Giro. Source code for this project is down in the description, and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. Let's slide in. The assets I'm using in this video are from Kenny, and it's the mini characters one linked in the description. So let's start by opening up Giro, and I've prepared a little scene here. I'm gonna select the root node and I'm gonna add a new child and I want this to be an animation player and then we want to make a new animation and this will be the hit flash we can call this flash and from my experimentation I think 0.2 is a good amount we can hold down control scroll up to zoom in or you can use the zoom over here to zoom in and then how do we animate the character we select the character we right click on it and do editable children and then we have meshes here under the skeleton we have the body and the head we can start with the head select the head and then open it up and i'm going to drag this out so it's more easy to see under surface zero we have the material and we can open the material up we can enable emission if it's not letting you change the material you need to go up and on the mesh you need to do the drop down arrow and make unique and then you need to do the same for the material itself drop down arrow and make unique then you can open it up and it will let you change it and here i will make a new key for the emission color so you need to enable emission and then do emission color black and then at the end i'm also gonna make a new key for the black one so move the animation cursor to the end of the animation and hit key again to make a new key and then in the middle of the animation, select the emission color and set it to white. And I'm going to make a new key. Now we can select the body and do the same process again. One thing you can even do is you can, on the body mesh, you can copy the material if they're using the same material. And then you can just paste it to the other mesh. And that way you won't have to animate every single part. They can just share the same material. If I were to duplicate the character and let's place two more here a little army of them and then if i play the animation all of them will flash since they share the same material and if you have different instances of the same scene let's say you hit one enemy all of them will flash since they share the same material or they can get stuck on the material and you don't want that so what you then want to do if you don't want them to share the material is that you on the mesh go into the material and then scroll down to resource and make local to scene then you can also select this resource and make local to scene i don't know which one does what so i just like making all the resources local to the scene and then we do the same for this one it's already linked to the other one and then we save and now you shouldn't have any problems with multiple enemies flashing when you only want one of them to flash and then you simply just play this animation through your script whenever your character gets hit. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out our Kofa in the description and we will see you in the next one.